Drake, I don't even believe that this is your bop in Charlotte, yo. Nigga, I would have been right back to sleep. I woke up at eight, went right back to sleep at eight ten. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Like this ain't this ain't for the dogs, this for the pups. I'm still let down. That's I'm where, let down. That's where I stand. I, did, I didn't it. like the Twenty One Savage record at all. I, I wasn't really a fan of. It. I'm good on. Uh, and I want you to feel away. What is Rihanna and ASAP doing to him where he got to do this? Oh, okay. Oh shit. <laughs> that's what you went with that. <laughs> you know what? That's what he's doing. The, the ASAP. I right, see. I'm done. All right. See, that's why I, when the Drake drops, I don't even like talking with niggas. That I talked to when I said to that other young lady, "I value men don't tell you what to do. They just say, this is what I will and I won't be willing to accept. It's up to this woman to decide whether or not she wants to stay or leave." I know this woman say that a lot. I feel like, I feel like, let me say I know. They never even say I think. It's always I feel. Then it's important to be in touch with emotions and tune your emotions. Your emotions can lead you astray. I would not advise a woman to do what I'm doing. Yet, you're still doing it. No one needs to listen to you. That in and of itself is all anyone needs to hear. That's Especially so when I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at since y'all want to get to it. That ain't nobody business where I put my shit at. Y'all just weird. Dwayne Wade, the NBA superstar, is leaving Florida with his family, citing that his family would, quote, not be accepted because of the state's LGBTQ restrictive policies. You know what they're trying to find? He won. They're ridiculous here. You can see it in the movie. They know. You know what I'm trying to say? They know. Now I mean, you can see it. You can see it. You just can see it. It's, it's all good. That's what you want to do. Welcome, welcome back to another episode of Weed A React. I'm your host, Wes Hunt. And of course, this is the show where I give my blunt opinions on current events and trending topics. And this is pretty current. I wish I could have what type of right when it happened. I posted some shorts about it, but we're going to go straight into it. This is Joe Budden, Roast Drakes for All the Dogs. It's from the Joe Budden Network. You know what I mean? Like, he got on Drake's ass. You know what I mean? Like, uh, and... I really can't blame him, but I felt to Drake. He's he's nice from what for what whatever he rhymes, for what whatever he writes. So I heard you saying you know write all his rhymes, but whatever he writes, he's dirty. And he made mad great music, but I'm not gonna lie, like he's going to the other side. Like in Hollywood, to me, before the shit even starts, because I want to hear him talk a little bit. Cause I never seen this yet. In Hollywood, um, everybody starts getting mad weird after a while. Like everybody, every, like seems like everybody for picked them to become a weird after a while. So. It just seemed like he's just following that pattern the way he's dressing out and air polish on. I'm trying to put up some pictures like that to that shit into that show too. Like it's bugged out. And I, and I fucked with Drake. I fucked with Larry Drake's music and shit like that. He seemed like a cool guy to I me, mean, but it is what it is. But I hear Joe Budden. You know, Joe Budden love getting on people. So let's hear Joe Budden. This is Weed and React. You know I mean, so hope y'all enjoy. Spark song. I got mine. What y'all doing? It's Weed and React. I just thought I'm reacting. Y'all supposed to be sparking too. That's supposed to be sparking too. I don't get it. Like what the fuck? Yeah, hope y'all just not watching this shit not get burned. Makes no sense. I mean, y'all gotta burn with me. We need a cipher and all this. Look at this shit together. We need to react. Let's go, nigga. And I, for one, am really happy that he's going away. Mm. I'm really happy that he's taking a break. He probably could stand to take two years off between the album. Drake, I don't even believe that this is your bop in Charlotte, yo. Nigga, I would have been right back to sleep. I'd have woke up at eight, went right back to sleep at eight. <laughs> what? Did you know what? If this was 8 a.m. in Charlotte, it had me ready for 8.45 in Raleigh. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need to. Drake, get the fuck out of Charlotte. <laughs> yeah, don't go back. No C-I-A-A for you. No, no studio. Nothing. nothing. Nah, she, she be right. I didn't get to listen to the album. I got into the album. I came by. Everybody said the shit. I looked on her Instagram. I was like, basically calling it mid. Like, they call it as a mid, mid. Like, it's mid. So, uh, it seemed like it was one of his good albums. The album cover was ridiculous. I mean, what? Oh, no Hornets games. What they? What's their name now? The Wasps. <laughs> what's what's their ball team name? Lamelo got injured. I don't know nothing that they talking about. <laughs> Listen, he lost me on eight a.m. in Charlotte when he started talking about uh, twenty-one. Wherever you go, I go. Where you go, Slavia. That for me is unacceptable. There was some. There was a couple. And I, and I the line. There was a couple bad yeah, lines. I get so the many checks. Check. I'm Czechoslovakian. Czechoslovakian. Yeah, Czechoslovakian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, dogs. That's unacceptable. Save that for the um um I'm too sexy for my shirt type. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Those, those were those belong. You can't put that on the time stamp right Yeah, and, not, do it. and think I ain't gonna hear it. Can't that. do it. Save that shit for nothing. It's just when he decided to go. You can't do that on a time when stamp. When he decided to go Nikolai Volkov. 
whatever the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, decided, yeah, he went a different route. But this was that I'm wealthy, lazy kind of effortless yeah. flow that he's been doing. And that's why a lot of, I agree with a lot of um, what he's saying. A lot of times when people get into the game and they got, he's super successful. Drake's a legend by this point. But a lot of them get lazy. A lot of them get rich. And they're not living a the lifestyle. They have to stay in touch with the people. They have to realize hip hop, it's for the people. Hip hop is, is is in the hood. Hip hop is for the have nots that want more. Hip hop is for the niggas that's going through it. So you gotta give it to touch these people. Everybody's not rich. Everybody don't fly private jets. Everybody, majority, 95% of the people don't got private jets, don't got mansions, don't have a million fucking trillion bad chicks, don't got a four hundred million dollars or twenty million dollars in their bank account. Don't, I mean like we aspiring to get it. A lot of people aspiring to get it. Some people was trying, not trying, trying to fail. Some people was, I mean, going towards it, as you see me here right now. I mean, but it's not only for that, it's really to help people entertain. And, I mean, that's the byproduct. But I would never lose. When I get there, I would never lose touch of what, what I'm doing it for and where I came from and giving back and make sure the people that supported me and got me to that point, you know what I mean? I'm still making them feel good. I'm still making them feel like, yeah, he's one of us. You know what I mean? Like, see, but now when you say for all the dogs, I think that you should start with pushing T Smoke. <laughs> I do, I do. Hey, that sounds so great. Hey, this this nigga from the rip. But cool. You didn't do that. Real, real R and B to start. You be I felt too old for this album. This beat though? I feel like I felt like that. I felt too old for this album. Like, that. like this ain't this ain't for the dogs, this for the pups. I quit. I'm still let down. That's I'm where, let down. That's where I stand. I didn't, then, I didn't like the twenty one savage record at all. I wasn't really a fan of it. I'm good on uh, them too. <laughs> <laughs> Is he not the pettiest nigga in the world? <laughs> oh no, it was all that. That, that, that was the theme I heard through the album. Do you hear this guy? Whoever baby moms he fucking with, <laughs> you know, he want to keep letting this nigga know. Yeah, he's been doing it all album. I'm anti. I'm anti. Let me listen again. Mm. Why he shoot? That's why. He, I didn't just hope oh, like. I got I ever fall a dog, I even come with some shots. So I'm gonna cover the demonic dog, obviously, of course. But like, and um, I'm like, damn, okay, you about to get on some back to back energy. You know what I mean? Like, you know, Drake's a demon when he wants to be. You know what I mean? I don't know for you, but I, I'm not just playing. But like, he can, he, he's a beast when he wants to be. He can go off motherfuckers. He can go off on that motherfucking mic. So that's why I thought he was gonna come out of a list to it yet. You know what I mean, but even I heard him real RB with it. But like, you gotta, like, come on, man, the hood. You can touch, you got some RB songs, that's what you do. And I fuck with RB, I fuck with that type of music too, guaranteed. But I say in touch, man, it's hip hop. It's hip hop, it's for the people. So I'm gonna be rapping to Kevin Samuels, You Are Destroying, and the title is you, Des you Are Destroying Women's Hope. Rest in peace to my man, Kevin Samuels. Like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, subscribe, ring that notification bell. If you're getting value out of any of this content, like, share, subscribe to the ETW TV channel. If you get, if you're entertained, you're laughing, you're crying, you got any evidence, like, share, and subscribe. If you're getting any substance out of this channel. Now, I mean, follow me on, on SoundCloud, where I send LG. Follow me on Instagram, Wolf Hunt, WXLF, H U N T 718, on Instagram. I mean, like, share, subscribe to the HFC podcast channel. Like I said, if you get getting any quality, if you learning anything, if it's inspiring you, if it's making anything clear, like, share, subscribe, hit the thumbs. Now, I mean, leave a comment, spam the comments, ring that notification bell so you can get all the amazing, great content we got coming for y'all. Come on, Miss Feminist. That shit didn't work on Donovan Sharp. It ain't going to work on me either. No. It's I'm not, not going to work on me. If you didn't have a good time with Donovan, you're not going to have a good time with me. You are being hostile. You're not even. I'm not being speak. hostile. I'm just being direct. Yes, you are. Okay, lady. Let me tell you something right now. I'm not being hostile. I'm being direct. If you're going to use the words, use okay. them appropriately. Okay, so you can have some type of politeness and something. Like I'm having politeness, show. man, but I'm not going to have you condescend to. Me. First off, you came I in and you said the, you said it incorrectly. I didn't say what you said. So let's do this. Let's start over. What did you think that you heard? I said. What did you think I said? You say that the women after the age of 25 or 20 something, they are, you know, they cannot have the ability to secure a man that can leave, let them stay at home after, you know, having children. That's not what I and, said. Uh, a lot of women do that, by the way. Like, I'm not saying old women, but a lot of women do that when you have a discussion. They don't really listen. A lot of people do that in particular. I'm so my woman in particular. 
that they a lot of they very emotionally based a lot of times. They just ready to rebuttal, and I'm really listening to the hero understand, and he's ready to rebuttal and do the do them just ready to rebuttal. Yeah, like ships in the night, and the message keeps keep missing each other. You try to use logic, she's no emotion, she's ready to respond. So it's like that's what a lot of times they never really hear what you say or understand what you're saying. They just hear what they want to hear. Yes. So I believe that your teaching somehow heals women's hope because it is possible indeed for a female after the age of 25 to cure a high value more. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's, let's, know. hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's define secure. What do you mean by secure? Being married, marry him. Okay. And how old are you? Being his wife. I'm 27. How old is your husband? I'm single. I'm in a relationship, but I'm but not you're married. not secure. No, right. for option. Right. You be married, it's not something you just turn on. And I've been in a real long-term relationship. You know what I mean? So I think I'm pretty, I can speak on this, longer than 10 years. So it's not something you turn on. You start preparing yourself while you're in that girlfriend and boyfriend phase. If it's serious for that husband and wife phase, for that father and mother phase, you just don't turn it on. So you start preparing yourself, you start doing the things that a wife would do, a husband would do. Especially not putting yourself single in your relationship if you're serious. Because it just because you're married, that don't mean you're single. That's just more terminology and more way of looking at it. It's not my husband, he's a boyfriend. Oh, okay. He's a CEO. Right, yeah, he's, he's a CEO. A, he's a CEO. Wait, but what? Yes. Okay, what's your, what? So, uh, how long have you been with your uh, fiance? I think one year, one year and two months. Okay. Yeah. He's a fiance. No, he's a boyfriend. Okay. He's a boyfriend. year and two months. Okay. Um, do you want to marry him? I don't know because he don't want to have kids. So it's okay, something that I'm kind of concerned. Yes, in the future. So you know you want to have children, but you're still with the man who doesn't want to have them. Aren't because you, hold, on, man, hold, on, man, hold on, man. Aren't you kind of destroying your hopes for children? Maybe yes, maybe, maybe not. Maybe no, no, ma'am. You know you want to have children. You know he does not, and you've been with him for fourteen months. Aren't you destroying your own hope for children? But I can't convince him. I can't change oh, his mind. Oh, exactly. So okay. you can convince a CEO to change his mind on children. Has he been married before? Yes. Does he and have any children? Went- no. All right. He don't have. All right. He does not have any children. So his first, his wife could not convince him to have kids. But you think his girlfriend can? All right. Next point. Um, if he was not a CEO, would you still be with him? No. Absolutely yes. He has so amazing he qualities. Uber, if, he drove, if he drove Uber, you would be there. Not that low as well. Oh, okay. You know, so there is a, there is a, there is an economic bottom floor that you will be willing to accept exactly why because i uh, because you understand because- i get it so ma'am i'm telling women the realities that you just laid out and even you're willing to accept it so how am i destroying women's hopes when you're willing to accept them in your life what I'm saying here is that when you pull this, you know, tragic end for women who are on above the age of, you know, twenty-seven. No, no, ma'am, it's not tragic. It's, it's statistical. What she's what? saying, when you say the truth, we don't want to hear it, and it hurts our feelings. It makes us feel insecure. It makes us feel bad about ourselves. Stop saying the truth. We're not used to fucking people telling us about ourselves. We used to, yeah, just you're beautiful, you're a queen, everything's gonna work. Okay, if you're fat, look, if you're skinny, though. Whatever, 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 do what you want. We're not used to hearing the truth, and the truth fucking hurts. So please stop. Please stop. Put me on the game. How to get a high value, man? I'm your host, as always, Wes Hunt. And this is the show where I give my blunt opinion on current events and trending topics. Switch that pink light. I'm going to keep up my next episode. This shit's going to get sweet. I mean, let's see if niggas like the secret sauce. Episode 12, we didn't react. Let's get it, nigga. Don't worry about who people spend their time with.
Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. The people who know what's going on in my bed, they know what the hell going on with my bed and what the hell I do in it. That ain't for everybody on the internet. I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at since y'all want to get to it. That ain't nobody business where I put my shit at. Y'all just weird. If you want to know what people doing in their bedroom or who they messing with and sleeping with. My thing is this. I agree and disagree. First of all, when you're a celebrity, that whole privacy shit, I'm talking about every facet, for whatever reason, I don't agree with all of it. You kind of give it away. Because the people want to know everything about you. Y'all like being worshipped in one aspect. But then when your personal life leaks that you don't want nobody to know about, y'all be like, oh, now y'all weird. Now y'all weird. It's the same fans that say, no, no, you're weird. Now you call them weird for being weird. For you, for, you know, you call them weird for them thinking you're weird. Because you want to hide it. The thing about it is this. If you're hiding it, that means you're ashamed. And if you're ashamed, that means you think it's wrong. Do it. Stand on it, bro. Stand it. Especially in these times this shit's so celebrated. Stand on it, bro. Stand on it. I mean, you hide it. Put it into the world, your family, your fans, and me. Then you know it's not right. You are weird. You're the weird one. Yeah. Whatever you're doing in your bedroom is your damn business that ain't for everybody and everybody don't need to know you ain't got to say anything about what you're doing in your house it's your house you ain't got to explain that to nobody no matter what they say they can say anything who gives two y'all too damn nosy worried about what i'm doing in my bed it's just been confirmed that dwayne wade the nba superstar is leaving florida with his family citing that his family would quote not be accepted because of the state's LGBTQ restrictive policy. I'm surprised that Dwayne Wade or Dwight Howard lacks fans, is fans of the secret sauce. I'm not surprised in, in the very least. Dwayne Wade lips be greasy like flame from Soul Plane. And Dwight Howard always, always, they nigga fucking cheekbones in his smirk. It's just too rosy. It's too gleeful. Had too much glee in his motherfucking smirk. Good son. I think he transitioned when he was 11 years old. No way. Yeah. And Dwayne Wade is a very, I love Dwayne Wade. He's a mm -hmm. super big hero of mine, but he's, he's a, I guess, an influencer of transgenders, mm -hmm. if you will. Because his son is a transgender. He is, I think it was when he was 11 years old, 12 years old, something like that. Mm -hmm. And it caused a lot of controversy because du like little Boosie, everybody knows little Boosie, yeah. he's very outspoken. Yeah. He went on to his Instagram and like completely shamed Dwayne Wade. He was like, bro, your kid doesn't know what they are. Like, that's your kid's a boy. They might be going through a phase right now, but you can't let them just complete. And that's a fact. And I touched that shit on my Instagram. They kind of fucked my Instagram page on it. I'm going to say it again. Shit was wrong and it was stupid. I don't give a fuck what nobody say or how anybody feels about that. If you're grown, you can do what the hell you want to do. To make an 11 or 12 year old boy, I don't give a fuck how he's feeling right now. If he feels that way when he's 19, 20, 18, 21, cool, do your thing. But to make a boy cut off his genitals, what if he changes his mind? You know, reverse. <laughs> you know, you can't reverse it. What if he changes his mind? I'm not even talking about changing his mind by being a homosexual. What if he just changes his mind about wanting to get his penis cut off? I'm 18 to drive, 21 to smoke cigarettes, and you gotta be this age to enter the club, and this age to do this, and this age to even cut your dick over at 11, 20, so that's legal. Okay? Or perhaps the complicated situation between Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade. For some time now, there has been speculation and chatter on the streets regarding their divorce, and people have been curious as to what might have gone wrong. Well, it appears that we finally have an answer to this question. Insiders have recently started to disclose new information indicating that the marriage fell apart due to Dwayne's unfaithful behavior, which has left Gabrielle exhausted from constantly having to conceal his actions. Rumors about Dwayne's infidelity have been circulating since the early days of their relationship. Back then, one of his numerous extramarital partners revealed some details, mentioning that although Duane is satisfying in bed, she would never consider taking him seriously like Gabrielle does. He allegedly flees out multiple women regularly. The informant also stated that despite of portraying themselves as a perfect couple akin to Michelle and Barack Obama, the reality is quite different. She elaborated that every time gossip surfaces, they make public appearances to portray a solid front. Duane is said to be involved with many women, and this is common knowledge among those who associate with him. It is unclear whether Gabrielle is aware of this and chooses to overlook it, or if she is feigning ignorance. 
which seems unlikely. Interestingly, it has been revealed that Dwayne was not only unfaithful with women, but also with men. Rumors about Dwayne leading a double life have persisted for a while, but they haven't been given much attention. He was married to a woman before he started dating Gabriel, and even after their temporary breakup, he impregnated another woman. Some sources suggest that Dwayne used these relationships with women as a cover to conceal his true inclinations. While I'm not suggesting that he didn't have genuine feelings for these women, it seems that his primary concern was to safeguard his secret. Observant fans have noticed peculiar aspects of Gabriel and Dwayne's relationship. For instance, recall when they separated and he fathered a child during their break. Gabrielle later expressed her deep pain regarding this incident, emphasizing that it was a traumatic experience that she struggled to articulate even after extensive therapy. People have often wondered why Gabrielle decided to reconcile with Dwayne after this incident. A new theory suggests that Gabrielle initially left Dwayne upon discovering his sexual orientation, but he managed to persuade her that it was a misunderstanding and that he was indeed heterosexual, leading her to reconsider. This could also explain why they hastily tied the knot just a few months after reconciling. No offense, man. I don't have the miscommunication in my relationship and no relationship I've ever had. Yo, you see the guy, none of them conversations don't come up. For that conversation to even come up is a fucking red flag. Some individuals speculate that Dwayne may have intentionally fathered the child as a way to assure Gabriel of his heterosexuality, challenging the notion that it was an accidental pregnancy. Observant fans have noted that Dwayne and Gabriel seldom acknowledge the child, named Xavier, which is surprising given Dwayne's reputation as a devoted father to his other three children. Indeed, he has demonstrated himself to be a wonderful father to his other children, even fiercely advocating for Zion. Zion Nazawa, a transgender teenage girl, has faced considerable backlash from many, but Dwayne has considered consistently stood by her side. He even engaged in a legal battle with his ex-wife to ensure that Zion could freely express herself in any manner she desired. However, there is a question that arises. Who exactly is Xavier? Before anyone jumps to the conclusion that Dwayne might be neglecting Xavier due to disagreements with Xavier's mother, let me clarify. Dwayne and Xavier's mother had been friends for several years before she became pregnant with Xavier. Additionally, despite having a tumultuous relationship with his first wife, Javen Punchies, Dwayne remains fully committed to their two children, which contradicts the notion that personal conflicts would lead him to neglect his child. Furthermore, if Dwayne intended to father a child for convenience, it would make sense for him to choose a close friend as the mother, correct? As previously mentioned, fans believe that Gabrielle may have had her doubts but was convinced to stay through the situation with the child born during their break, and the couple eventually reconciled. For an extended period, fans regarded them as the epitome of black love in Hollywood. Both were highly successful and appeared to be deeply in love, so what could possibly go awry? However, it appears that there were several potential issues. For instance, Gabrielle disclosed in an interview that they split their ex and Evan Lee, a 50-50 split. Oh, it's the epitome of their perfect relationship. no such thing. It's not fucking idolizing or worshiping celebrities. Like, they're not fucking human. Like, they was in ghettos or trailer parks or suburbs or, or, or places like that. You know what I mean? Before they became who the fuck they was. They're regular people. Stop the stupid shit. And go watch that HFC episode I'm about that right now. Um... Swift, Kelsey, who gives a f- I mean, give a fuck. Like, why I care about this shit, so let me just watch. Like, share, and subscribe. You see, I got the pink light and the candy from my uh, man's Dwight Howard and D Wade to make her feel comfy. You know what I mean? Because everything wolf. Let me like you, you know, ETW. Like, make sure y'all comfortable. Well, I, like, I, as, I, as I'm basically reporting the news. Allegedly. But like, share, and subscribe, man. I hope y'all enjoyed this this episode of um, Read and React. Let me see. Go check out HFC Podcast. Go follow me on SoundCloud with SmoMG. Follow me on Instagram Wolf Hunt 718. And I'm ending like I always do. One mind equals one love and one mind is how you see God. Wolf. One mind equals one love. One mind is how you see God. Wolf. One mind equals one love. One mind is how you see God. Wolf.